This is why you need Moab on your travel bucket list. Nestled in the heart of Utah, Moab is a place where the past and present collide in the most fascinating ways. From its stunning red rock landscapes to its rich history, Moab offers a unique blend of natural beauty and cultural heritage that is sure to captivate any traveler. A town with a story straight out of the Wild West. Imagine walking down the streets of a town that has seen everything from Native American tribes to Spanish explorers, and from rugged pioneers to modern-day adventurers. Moab's history is as colorful and varied as the landscape that surrounds it. Nestled in Utah's arid landscape, Moab started as a tiny farming and ranching community. The early settlers were drawn to the area by the promise of fertile land and abundant water from the Colorado River. They worked tirelessly to cultivate the land, growing crops and raising livestock to sustain their families. But everything changed in the 1890s. The discovery of rich mineral deposits in the surrounding hills brought a wave of prospectors and miners to the area. The promise of wealth and prosperity transformed Moab from a sleepy farming village into a bustling mining town almost overnight. With the boom of mining and the arrival of the railroad, Moab swelled into a lively town of 19 communities. The railroad connected Moab to the rest of the country, bringing in goods, people, and new opportunities. The town's population grew rapidly, and new businesses and services sprang up to meet the needs of the growing community. When it needed a name, William Pierce, a farmer and part-time dentist, suggested Moab, reflecting its biblical, dry, sandy wilderness. The name Moab is derived from an ancient kingdom mentioned in the Bible, known for its arid and rugged terrain. It was a fitting name for a town surrounded by the stark beauty of the Utah desert. The name stuck, and Pierce became its first postmaster. The establishment of a post office was a significant milestone for the community, providing a vital link to the outside world. It allowed residents to send and receive letters and packages, keeping them connected to family and friends far away. Despite efforts to change it, Moab it remained. Over the years, there were several attempts to rename the town, but the residents held fast to the name Moab. It had become a part of their identity, a symbol of their resilience and determination in the face of adversity. Life in early Moab wasn't just about work. The settlers knew how to balance hard work with leisure and community activities. They understood the importance of coming together to celebrate their achievements and support one another through difficult times. Communal chores like hog butchering and quilting bees became social events, transforming into all-night dance parties in settlers' homes. These gatherings were a chance for neighbors to catch up, share stories, and enjoy each other's company. Music and dancing were an integral part of these events, with fiddles and accordions providing the soundtrack for the evening. Fiddles and accordions set the rhythm until a piano arrived in 1898, sparking the construction of a dedicated dance hall. And oh, the celebrations. The arrival of the piano was a game changer, adding a new dimension to the music and inspiring the community to build a proper dance hall. This new venue became the heart of Moab's social life, hosting dances, concerts, and other events that brought people together. The 4th of July and Pioneer Day saw women serenading the streets at dawn, followed by horse races, picnics, and children's skits. These celebrations were a highlight of the year, a time for the entire community to come together and enjoy a day of fun and festivities. The streets were filled with the sounds of laughter and music, and the air was thick with the smell of delicious food. By the early 20th century, Moab was thriving. The town had grown and developed, with new businesses, schools, and churches providing essential services to the community. The residents of Moab were proud of their town and worked hard to make it a better place for future generations. Telephones, municipal water, and the first automobiles rolled in, followed by a bridge over the Colorado River. These advancements brought new conveniences and opportunities to the residents of Moab, making their lives easier and more connected. The bridge over the Colorado River was a particularly significant development, providing a vital link to the outside world and facilitating trade and travel. The town buzzed with life, Silent films at the Ides Theater, shopping at Cooper Martin's store, and travelers resting at Maxwell House Hotel. These establishments became important social hubs where people could gather to watch the latest films, shop for necessities, and meet travelers from near and far. The Maxwell House Hotel, in particular, was a popular destination for visitors, offering comfortable accommodations and a warm welcome. Ranching remained vital, with legendary figures like J.A.L. Scorup, 
steering massive livestock operations. Ranching was a cornerstone of Moab's economy, providing jobs and sustenance for many residents. The ranchers of Moab were known for their hard work, resilience, and deep connection to the land. Moab's evolution from a modest farm village to a Wild West wonder is a tale of community resilience and celebration. The town's history is a testament to the strength and determination of its residents, who have faced countless challenges and overcome them with grace and grit. Moab's story is one of transformation and growth, a journey from humble beginnings to a vibrant and thriving community. And that, folks, is the story of Moab, a town that has seen it all from its early days as a farming community to its transformation into a bustling mining town, and finally, to its current status as a beloved travel destination. Moab's rich history and stunning landscapes make it a must-visit for anyone looking to experience the true spirit of the American West. So pack your bags, hit the road, and come see for yourself why Moab is a place like no